All right, today we're going to work on isometric number five, this one here. So first, let's start a new part. Start the new sketch. I like to start drawing the front. So I work on the XY plane. We're going to do all this with what's called subtractive modeling. I mean, I'm going to make like a great big cube, and then I'm going to cut out the parts that are missing. So if I count across, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across, and one, two, three, four, five up. So remember, you can do eight times 0.25 across. Type it in, and then type your five times 0.25 up, and hit enter. If you click the front on the view cube, it brings it down so you can see it. Finish that sketch. We're going to extrude it, going to the little house to bring it back into view. And if we count back, we're going one, two, three, four, five in depth. So as we extrude, we can also type in here five times oops, times 0.25. Now, if you know the 5 point, times 0.25 is 1.25, you don't have to put the math equation in there. You can type the actual value. Okay, there's our big block. Now we're going to try to chop off these sections. <coughs> so we're going to make a new sketch on the front view. So I right-click, click New Sketch. Again, I like it kind of down in the middle, so I hit that front. I'm going to draw the rectangle. I'm going to chop off that front corner, so I turn, put it so my... Mouse, the dot turns green, so I know I'm right in the corner. I pull down. I know it's 2 by 2, so that's 0 0.5 by 0.5. Enter. And I'm going to do the same in the opposite corner. Oh. I guess I didn't click my enter. There we go. Do the same in the opposite corner. Again, type 0 0.5, hit the tab key, type 0 0.5, hit the enter key. Now I've got to make that little notch down here in the bottom. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six across. So I'm just going to make this one down here. It's going to be six times 0 0.25, which is 1.5. And it is one high, which is also 0 0.25. That's going to be right in the middle. So you can see I didn't hit the middle. So I'm going to use one of these constraints. I'm going to vertically constrain it because I'm in the vertical section. I'm going to line up the middle of the big cube with the middle of this little notch thing that I'm making. So I click the vertical, and then I just hover along the bottom. And I see that green dot, that's the middle. Then I hover along the bottom until I see the other middle. Click them, and it snaps them together. I can see in the bottom right corner, it's fully constrained. It means I can finish my sketch. And now I extrude. I want to extrude all three pieces. They're all going the wrong way, so in the output section of my window, I'm going to go to the second little thing. They look like little printers to me. I'm mean, going to hit the one that says cut, and it's going to cut it back through. If it's going to go all the way through, what I like to do is called through all. Like that, and it cuts it through. That way, in case I change the size of my object, it will still cut all the way through. Say OK. And now you're really done. So just go hit File, Save, and save it as Isometric 5.